this is Travis neighbor's property and uh, we're going to be doing maintenance in the front and backyard and there are some small projects um, that we're going to be tackling from time to time. Uh, in the meantime, I'll point out the current projects and we need to remove the lamb's ear plants. That's these guys right here. They're kind of uh, fuzzy leaves. So all these right here, that one, that one, that one, that one. That one that one that one so they all need to get removed and then we're gonna offer to plant uh some of the um olive bushes like that uh we were talking about maybe just some corners fill the corners in with that one two three four so we'll have a line item for that and then as far as maintenance first focus is going to be on the weeds we're not going to prune too much at first we're just going to really try to get these weeds under control uh, there's some in the vegetable gardens. We'll we'll pull those out and then um, make sure to spray the pathways so they're not um, so They don't have these weeds on here and then anything um, Above two inches. We're gonna use a string trimmer to cut it down and then uh, what's left will spray And then for maintenance uh, just keeping stuff like this away from the pathways. So we have a clear pathway um, Eventually we are gonna put in a hedge here. We're talking about possibly doing a Texas privet um, or look we'll look at some other options these two hop seed trees this one right here and then there's one leaning down we need to cut them all the way to the ground and remove them this hop seed tree we are gonna stake with using three stakes get it nice and sturdy and we're gonna prune the top make it smaller so it's not so heavy on top so it can be, um, so it's not uh, so prone to fall over. These as well, see how that one is starting to lean because it's so heavy, we wanna cut back a little bit. Just reduce it in size so it's not so top heavy. Um, the client also likes these um, Breath of Heaven, so uh, we'll, we might, uh, I'm not sure, we'll, we'll check with them. Uh, it's interchangeable, if they prefer that over the, over the olive bushes, we could do the breadth of heaven as well. I think they're very similarly priced, so that won't be an issue. Um, definitely weeds in here. So the, the, the shrubs are not out of control. They, they'll need a light pruning, but I would say focus on the weeds. Um, the first month for sure, we're gonna be focusing on the weeds. Uh, these lantanas here for this season, we wanna just prune them away from the plants, but come um, winter next year, or at the end of the year in the winter time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them down really short to kind of keep them contained and to remove all of that woody growth right there. Um, if we cut it short in the springtime next year, it'll come back nice and fresh. Not familiar with this plant, but we're, we're just gonna try to keep it contained, keep it from growing onto the fence or into this area right here. Um, the clients have expressed that they eventually want to do some citrus, uh, dwarf citrus plants in here, either lemons or, or um, oranges. So we'll give them an option for that. Uh, we definitely want to keep the vines from the neighbor's side uh, under control. We don't want it to damage the fence, so um, prune it back little by little. We want to get it back as far as we can. It's too late to prune the roses, so we're just gonna remove uh, branches that are getting into the pathway and just deadhead them throughout the year. These are fine, we're not doing any pruning with these. Um, pretty low maintenance yard. Uh, we do wanna make sure the irises get pruned for winter next year. For now, we'll just keep it maintained. Yeah, just weeds and basic maintenance here. Uh, we definitely want to keep this privet under control so it's not closing up this pathway. And that's it.